Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss what to expect from Canada's Immigration Policy 2023. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. To reach its lofty goals, which call for 500,000 immigrants annually by 2025, Canada is getting ready to step up its immigration program more than ever. It anticipates welcoming 465,000 new permanent residents in 2023, which would be the third straight year with a record number of arrivals. The Liberal government plans to continually increase the number of immigrants to offset a persistent labor shortage. Employers in Canada have struggled to recruit workers for years, and their government is working to address the issue. To improve the capabilities of its workers by bringing in the best and the brightest from outside, Canada's plan for immigration, outlined by Minister of Immigration C. Fraser, asks for increases across the board, led by economic immigration. Now, let us show you the screen of Canada's 2023-2025 to immigration levels plan. Drop the images here. Now, you may look at the images displayed on the screen. More than 266,000, or 57%, of the 465,000 new arrivals this year are economic immigrants. Never before has it been clearer what Canada's top immigration priorities are. The message is clear. Now is the time to start your Canada immigration project if you have been thinking about doing so. Canada is working to solidify its status as the world's top destination for immigrants. Here are some predictions for Canadian immigration in 2023. Let us first begin with permanent residence. Economic programs. 1. Express entry. In 2023, express entry will still be the predominant method of immigration to Canada. Applications for the three main government programs, Federal Skilled Worker, Canadian Experience Class, and Federal Skilled Trades, are managed through the flagship selection system. According to the most recent Immigration Levels Plan, Canada intends to accept almost 83,000 federally high-skilled immigrants in 2023, with numbers increasing to 109,000 in 2024 and 114,000 in 2025. After the new National Occupational Classification, NOC 2021, went into effect, 16 additional professions are now eligible for express entry under the Federal Skilled Worker Program. The launch of occupation-specific drawings through express entry is also anticipated for this year. Last year, Canada changed its laws to make it possible to target particular economic labor needs. Those draws are set to begin right away. 2. Provincial Nominee Program Express entry will be outperformed in 2023 only by the aggregate economic impact of Canada's provincial nominee programs. More than 105,000 immigrants are expected to enter Canada through the nine provincial, and two territorial, immigration schemes. There are thousands of openings for immigration to Canada in 2023, from British Columbia in the west through the prairie regions of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba to Ontario in the Atlantic Canadian provinces of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Labrador, and Prince Edward Island. Each of the aforementioned provincial initiatives has a distinct stream for the federally run selection process because portions of the PNP also feed into express entry. The provinces are prepared to choose immigrants based on their unique economic requirements. Because provincial and federal goals differ, candidates should review target occupation lists and streams. 3. Quebec Quebec is unique in that it has complete control over the flow of economic immigrants. The strong Quebec provincial government's efforts to ensure that all immigrants accepted to the province be francophone have received considerable attention. Francois Legault, the head of the coalition Avenir Quebec, is committed to keeping the number of immigrants to Quebec at 50,000 or less, with 33,000 of them coming through economic programs. He feels that maintaining the French language is essential to maintaining Quebec's culture. Candidates who already have a well-qualified job offer receive less importance from the necessity to be fluent in French. Given the province's protracted labor shortfall, it will be interesting to observe how Legault's continued restriction on immigration pans out. Legault now has to get Quebec's economy going to sustain his popularity after obtaining a significant mandate last year that was based almost exclusively on votes from outside Montreal. 4. Employer-Driven Pilot Programs Canada also runs a variety of employer-driven pilot projects that concentrate on regions or industries with persistent labor shortages. The Atlantic Immigration Program, which began as an experimental program but was later made permanent, is in the vanguard of them. In 2023, the 8th, which covers the four Atlantic provinces of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, 
Newfoundland, and Labrador, and Prince Edward Island, will have 8,500 spots available for skilled workers and foreign graduates. Through three additional streams, the Agri-Food Pilot, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, and the Economic Mobility Pathways Project, an additional 8,500 immigrants will be admitted. These programs are all employer-driven, so you cannot directly apply to any of them. A company spots a need, locates an immigrant to fill it, and utilizes the program to sponsor the candidate's immigration to Canada. It is believed that a new municipal nominee program is still being developed. The MNP was first planned by the ruling Liberals in 2019, but it may finally be implemented this year after being delayed by the COVID-19 outbreak. An MNP, as the name implies, would pick immigrants on a much more local level, enabling localities to address particular labor market requirements. Now, coming to business programs. 1. Startup Visa Startups in Canada for those with a business mindset, obtaining a visa has become a crucial step in the immigration process to Canada. Candidates must have a qualified business or business idea, the backing of a recognized angel investor group, venture capital fund, or business incubator as well as the necessary settlement cash and language skills, to be considered. Before meeting the requirements for permanent residency, candidates may immigrate to Canada on a work permit while they start their businesses. Applicants must be actively involved in the management of the business in Canada to be eligible. In 2023, Canada aims to accept 3,500 new immigrants through business programs, and that number will rise to 6,000 by 2025. These will mostly be obtained through the startup visa. Two. Provincial Business Programs Numerous provinces in Canada run their entrepreneur programs as part of their corresponding provincial nominee programs. Regarding the province or region they serve, each of these programs has unique requirements. 3. Self-Employed Programs Quebec and the federal government both provide self-employed programs. Candidates for the federal self-employed class should have appropriate self-employment experience in addition to the desire and capacity to establish their job and significantly enhance Canada's cultural, artistic, or athletic life. In Quebec, the main distinction between self-employed candidates and skilled employees is that the former generate their jobs by engaging in a profession or commercial activity. Next is family class. 1. Spouses, partners, and children. In its immigration levels plan, Canada mixes spouses, partners, and children, intending to welcome 78,000 of them in 2023, constituting the bulk of the 106,000-person family class. Applications from both inside and outside of Canada are accepted for the spouse and partner stream, via the spouse or common law partner in Canada class. Any sex may be a spouse or partner as long as they match the qualifications. Couples who are waiting for their applications to be approved may be eligible for a work permit. Sponsored children are often under 22 and without a spouse or romantic partner of their own. Over the age of 22, applicants must be physically or mentally unable to support themselves or must have relied on their parents for financial support before turning 22 to qualify. Canada runs a distinct adoption program for foreign children. 2. Parents and Grandparents The Canadian Parents and Grandparents program uses a lottery mechanism in which sponsors register their interest in a pool, which is then randomly selected and invited to apply. In 2023, Canada expects to receive 28,500 new immigrants through the stream. Since it is frequently overcrowded, the stream has generated debate over the years as authorities look for the most equitable manner to choose applicants to immigrate to Canada. Since 2020, the PGP pool has not been made available for new sponsors. Since then, sponsors have been asked to apply in three different batches. In 2023, it's conceivable that Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, may create a new window for submitting interest to sponsor applications. Grandparents and parents who are not chosen may want to think about the super visa. Now, coming on the next which is temporary residence. 1. Study Permit and Post-Graduation Work Permit With 750,000 foreign students predicted to study there in 2023, Canada offers a well-established pathway for them to get permanent residency. They represent the biggest category of temporary residents. They can enter the country with a study permit, be granted a post-graduation work permit, and gain the necessary work experience to be eligible for immigration through express entry. While such a route does exist, candidates should be aware of its fierce competition. Of the 750,000 foreign students studying in Canada, just a small percentage will end up staying. The concept that overseas students may come to Canada to study and eventually become permanent residents is widely promoted by immigration consultancies, colleges, and institutions. 
but in actuality, very few people will succeed in doing this. 2. Temporary workers. Even while the cohort of Canadians with work permits has lost ground to the cohort with study permits in terms of the proportion of temporary residents, it is still a sizable 750,000. Numerous routes exist for temporary workers to enter Canada, including the International Mobility Program and the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, depending on whether they need a labor market impact assessment or not. A successful UMIA verifies that a foreign worker is required to complete the task at hand and that no Canadian workers are available to carry it out. Employers in Canada are now able to hire foreign workers without the need for an UMIA, thanks to the IMP. Intracompany transfers, people who enter Canada via trade agreements like the Comprehensive Economic Trade Agreement, CETA, or the Canada-United States-Mexico Agreement, CUSMA, and people who are eligible for an open work visa are all included. The TFWP consists of four streams, live-in caregivers, seasonal agricultural workers, high-skilled employees, and low-skilled workers. The TFWP also includes the Global Talent Stream, which gives businesses access to two-week processing for several technological vocations. Programs targeted towards technology vocations are also run by a variety of provincial initiatives, such as the BCPNP Tech Stream and the Ontario Tech Draws Human Capital Priority Stream. 3. Buy a business and move to Canada. Candidates who want to acquire a business and immigrate to Canada still have choices, such as the Ontario Entrepreneur Success Initiative and the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. A recent modification to the TFWP's owner-operator regulations removed the exemption for UMIA advertising obligations. For the proper applicant, the road remains. The OIMP Entrepreneur Success Initiative is a two-year pilot program to attract $20 million in investment and welcome 100 migrants from outside the Toronto region. And the last is refugees. Refugee immigration. As part of its ongoing international humanitarian efforts, Canada continues to place a high priority on receiving refugees. The benefits of Canada's welcoming nest to refugees have been felt by Syrians, Afghans, and most recently Ukrainians. To help skilled refugees enter Canada, the federal government has allocated $6.2 million to a new project called Economic Mobility Pathways. More than 76,000 entrants to Canada are permitted under the 2023 Immigration Levels Plan's refugee class. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.